Another topic of a great concern to both women and men, actually maybe more to women actually, mm. is how much of their appearance is genetically determined. You mean that worry about, I'm doomed to look a certain way if that's how my mother or father looked? Yes, exactly. Studies show many people believe that's true. Well, in today's Mythbuster segment, we get a very different perspective. Many people think that genetics determine your looks. The truth is, lifestyle plays a bigger role. Certainly, the shape of your nose and the color of your eyes is genetics. But your smile, your attitude, the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, the sun damage that you have on your face, that is all lifestyle. And it's very important to understand that you have control of your appearance. It's not about genetics, I can't do anymore because that's what the, my mother looked like. No, you can make a difference in your life. You can look better, you can be happier, you can make a difference in every aspect of your life. The way we think about ourselves on the inside, if we think of ourselves as royalty, is how we're going to make that appearance on the outside. If we think of ourselves as poverty, then obviously that's the way we're going to look. So it's important to think of yourself as royalty. Splurge on yourself. Take care of yourself. Be the most important person in the world to yourself, and that'll make a difference in your appearance, if nothing else. Most people think that the appearance of your face is based on what you put on your face. But truly, what you put in your body can have a bigger impact. Only 20% of your skin is on the surface, and that's what you treat with products that you put on your skin. What you eat addresses the other 80%. So eating better is important. It's important to hydrate every single cell in your body, including your skin. When you do that, you're going to make a big difference. Obviously, eat based on the water secret. It's important to understand every cell in your body is connected. Your skin has blood vessels, so everything that has a blood vessel goes to your skin ultimately. Attracting water to your cell is the most important thing you can do. Eating raw fruits and vegetables is very important, but also understanding how we can make every cell membrane thicker by eating beans and seeds and agents that have good amino acids with obviously some good lipids like the omegas. Very important to eat well so that your skin will look well. It's very important also to live young. Now when people say, well, I want to be young, well, that means to them may, maybe I'm going to have less wrinkles. And that is obviously important. But living young means being able to take risks, being able to take failure and make, make a positive out of it. I always say, don't let failure spoil your success. Think about a child who's learning to walk. He or she will fall a thousand times before they learn to walk. How many times do we walk before we stop? How many times do we take a risk before we say, I can't do it anymore? How many mental blocks do we have? How can we reframe those mental blocks and make a real difference in our appearance? And one of the reframing that's so important is to understand that genetics do not control your appearance. Lifestyle has a bigger impact than genetics. I like what Dr. Murad has to say, especially that part about living young. <laughs> well, a positive mindset can have a big impact on the inside and the outside. And as we just heard, a healthy diet to go along with that healthy attitude is also very important. <laughs>